So in light of it being the festive season, we thought we'd get into a little bit more of a Christmas spirit this morning. We're going to start off looking for the Tsalala female. She's been spending a lot of time very close to the Sand River. So we're going to head across there and see what we can come up with. We've just heard that a single lion net has been found. We're just going to get ourselves across there. Just arrived and can confirm that it is indeed the Tsalala lioness. At least now we're able to get a nice close look at her. It's just sitting here. One of the telltale signs for the Tsalala lineage is these orange, orange eyes. And so we can very clearly see those. You can see some of the spots on her back legs there just showing how young she is. She's in relatively good condition given that she's by herself now and not even yet three years old. She has been seen feeding on at least two female waterbuck killed. So she's doing very well for herself. A big yawn there in the background. And just great to have her back here on the day that we're doing this Christmas safari. She's getting up and moving now. She's roaming around to the west of Londolozi's camps. Very thick vegetation around here, but she's probably looking for any prey, something easy to overpower for her. Shortly after we arrived with the Tsalala female, she's got up and now walked along some of the game paths and eventually ended up down on the southern bank of the Sand River. This is very common territory or a home ground for her. She spent a lot of time up and down here. So it's a very warm morning this morning and it looks as though she's just trying to seek out the best shade. And she'll get up and move a couple hundred meters and settle down again. great to see how well she's doing given that her mother has passed on but I've got high hopes for this female I think she'll do all right as long as she can just avoid any other conflict with any other lions around here It's amazing to see her and we wish her well. She's just gone into an area where we cannot follow. There's quite a few rocks and there's the water course from the Sand River, so we won't be able to follow her through there, but just an amazing way to start off the festive virtual safari. We're starting off our morning, spending a bit of time with the Nzanzeni female, which is quite fitting given that she is the last standing member of the mother leopard lineage that we have around here. She's just resting in the grass, doesn't look like she's doing too much.
you can see there's a big gash on her front shoulder and uh, that we believe was in a fight or a tussle with the Mashaba female a couple of weeks ago but as she's resting here she, every now and then she sits up and starts grooming quite a bit and so although that wound looks pretty serious she'll groom it constantly just making sure it's clean and if you look in there she'll go very gently with her tongue her tongue's got a lot of these big sharp barbs on it which help comb through the fur getting rid of a lot of the dirt but also that'll help keep that wound very clean and I mean leopards are incredibly resilient animals and so a gash like that's not necessarily going to be the downfall or the to the detriment of a leopard their immune system strong enough to fight the infection so she'll be alright she'll definitely recover from this We haven't seen her cubs for about two or three weeks and so we don't know exactly where they are if they've even survived. We hope they have but as soon as we hear or see anything more about that we'll definitely let you know. It's a very warm day today and so I doubt she's going to be doing too much. She's just going to be resting in the nice shade here in the long grass and waiting for the heat of the day to calm down unless something comes walking through here then she might take a chance. But it's amazing to be down here in the deep southeastern parts of the reserve and be able to find the Nzanzeni female and let's carry on and see what else we can find for the day. We just bumped into a young elephant bull who's solitary at the moment. There's no other elephants around here. But he's just casually feeding here. We've got a big storm building up in the background there. Pretty spectacular scene. What he's doing is he's feeding on a lot of the grass at the moment. You can see all of the inflorescence or the flowering parts of the grass has popped through. That's very tasty and nutritious for the elephant. So he's pulling all of that up and feeding as much as he can as he goes along. Flapping his ears because it's quite a hot afternoon. But it's amazing just to be this close to an elephant. Have them be very, very relaxed with our presence here. This afternoon, the in several sub adults have been found quite far deep into the southwestern grasslands, and a Birmingham male is not too far from them. So, what we're going to do is probably head straight across to the Birmingham male and spend some time with him this evening. We're not too sure where his brother is, but we're hoping that he might call and advertise the territory is still his, or potentially be trying to find his brother. So it'll be great to spend some time there and see what happens. He's sleeping out in the open. He had been resting under one of the marula trees in the shade throughout the day, but he seems to have moved out here. He's about five, six hundred meters away from the Ensevu sub-adults, and so it'll be interesting to see if he does get up and continue on following them, or if he then turns back to head across towards where his brother may be. We're very close to our western boundary, and it's unusual to have the Birmingham males coming this far across. He is probably just spending some time with them there, as well as maybe the Nzenga male's presence on the eastern side of Londolozi has caused him to be a little bit uneasy if he is there by himself. He's got a lot better chances, or he's a lot safer by being with them. We're losing light with this Birmingham male. He's hardly even lifted his head just yet, but he is looking pretty hungry. His belly is fairly empty, and so I think what we'll do is we'll wait it out for a little bit longer. So he's just lifted his head up now. The breeze is blowing from where the sub-adults are across towards him and you can see he's lifting his nose up. That's just him trying to catch the scent or whatever he can smell being carried by the wind. 
Some of the guys are with the sub adults to that side. And so I'll keep a listen out to hear if they're gonna do anything. And if they do, and we hear anything coming from that side, I'm sure he'll then get up and start walking across in that direction. So after hearing a bit of calling coming from the south, quite far south, most likely one of the Nzanga males, as well as calling coming from quite far north, Eventually this male got up and he's now walking across in the direction of the sub-adults. We've just had an incredible sighting of him walking right past the vehicle here. But he's getting very close to the boundary now and we're not going to be able to follow him for too much longer. But it's been a phenomenal afternoon and evening waiting for him to get up and start moving. And so it's been great just spending some time along here. But we're going to leave him and start heading back towards camp. Just to top off our Christmas evening this evening, we come around the corner and bumped into a very rare nocturnal predator known as a serval. It's a small leopard-like cat, except it's got a lot longer legs, smaller head, big ears, and spots as opposed to rosettes. And it's just moving through some of the grass. Its hearing is phenomenal and it listens out trying to detect any small rodents or prey that might be lurking in the grass. It can pinpoint exactly where it is and then it sneaks up as close as it can to that and then it'll launch itself by pouncing high into the air and landing directly where the prey is. Uh, so it was very brief view as it was walking along, but they are such rare nocturnal animals we hardly ever see them. So to see one that was this relaxed and calm being close to a vehicle was very, very unusual and rare and I guess special to end off the evening with. <laughs>